improving ourselves. Uh, and at some stage, I'm sure we will be, you know, we'll definitely catch up. And uh, the new generation of the officers who are joining in the police department at the sub-inspector rank, even at the junior ranks like our constables, they are pretty well educated. It's a good thing because uh, they are very well versed with the technology and they know, uh, you know, they can handle the cell phones and the computers so well. And uh, seeing them, it gives us some pleasure that yes, now, you know, with the, with the change, uh, the new changes in the society and uh, being in a part of a digital India, you know, it's time for us also to pick up and, uh, you know, catch up with the, you know, situation and technology and uh, make sure that, you know, we are ready to march into the future, uh, being properly equipped and uh, not having any kind of uh, document. And uh, my observation, again, I keep telling everywhere, sometimes our people think that, you know, the uh, Indian police doesn't perform very well or Indian police is, uh, you know, lacking behind vis-a-vis -vis other countries in Europe or America, but it's not like that. You know, with my own experience and I've interacted with large number of officers even in very developed countries like US or UK or even Australia, but our police is actually far better than them. This is what I have come to the conclusion. Not, in, not only, you know, in terms of the diversity of the cases that we, the issues that we handle, whether it is, uh, you know, traffic duties, whether it is uh, law and order, whether it is, uh, you know, crime, again, crime of different natures, and then almost everything, you know, whether it's a disaster, or whether it is as handicapped as we are. Rather, I would say that we are slightly on the better side actually. Uh, in fact, you know, we are, because from our side, at least we have realized that, you know, at the, the pan-India level, a lot of importance has been given to the new types of crime and a lot of institutional uh, improvement has been, you know, the new institutions have come up to support the law enforcement agencies. So, I think in this regard, uh, you know, the, the prosecution also has been doing really well, the, the prosecutors, because the new, uh, the new age uh, prosecutors who are just completing their law, joining their uh, prosecutors in different, in different courts. So I think they are also pretty well versed in the technology. So uh, you know, it is, and how it has happened is required. So this is the you know this is the new thing that I think we are we all need to you know walk ahead together to uh, you know to prepare ourselves better. So that uh, this, uh, these new crimes and the crime is becoming more and more complicated, you know, this cryptocurrency, so much of things are happening. And we don't even come across the difficult crimes like cyber terrorism which are still there and we don't get too many cases as of now but they might be happening at some level. So uh, with this I think, uh, uh, once again I thank all of you and uh, I congratulate all the officers who have uh, performed really well, uh, put in uh, their best foot forward, put in their best efforts to make sure that, uh, you know, these uh, convictions are there. Now, convictions are really important for us. You know, the reason is that it, on you know, one hand, of course, as I mentioned earlier, it gives us, uh, you know, the satisfaction of competing and doing our job properly. On the other hand, it is also, it also brings deterrence for the crime. You know, for the, for the prevention of future crime, uh, it, is, it is very important that certainty of punishment is there. It's, it's, this is also part of the theories of 